Hello, I'm the Unicorn Let's Play from Big Robot Games, getting back to Super Castlevania 4. Last time we dealt with stage 9, and we were, when we were done fighting the Sap Bat, a pair of stairs took us to stage A. This is stage 10, technically, so we have only two more stages left. So, let's get moving. And right at the bat, you know this is gonna be a good stage. You know why? Well, first of all, it's a clock tower without death. Second of all, you have bloody tears playing in the background. Like, if this doesn't give you the energy to move through and beat this game, I don't know what will. Now, we're going to be needing sub-weapons towards a later part of this level where you're going to be uh, where you will be needing to deal with, uh, I believe, a skeletal knight while hanging on your whip. Thus, you need a sub-weapon so you can take him out while hanging. And I just died, that's amazing. But, that doesn't bother me, I mean, come on, we are... Enjoying probably the best song in Castlevania history. You know, a lot of people say that they like Vampire Killer. I'm like, pfft, bloody tears, that's where it's at. Like, bloody tears, every time I hear that, I always get so pumped to play Castlevania. Oh, man. Don't move too far up, because then you're gonna take unnecessary hits. And you don't want to be dealing with unnecessarity here, so you want to deal with your enemies from a safe distance. Like, if I go quiet at times... <sighs> Amazing. <laughs> yeah, if I go quiet at times, it's only because, to be honest, Sometimes you might need to concentrate on these final stages. And it's because we're having epic music in the background. <laughs> there we go, dealt with him. Pick up a heart. Okay, I was so close that I actually... Like, I was so sure that I jumped, like, too slow or whatever. There we go. Get up here. Pick up a heart, because we're gonna need a heart for a bit later in the stage. There we go. Do 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 Be careful. It doesn't look like it, but those two gears can kill you. You don't want gears killing you, so... Be careful. Take a walk here, and we're up to the next part. Dealing with skeletons, whip skeletons, and medusa heads. You know, it wouldn't be the, the clock tower without medusa heads. <laughs> of course. Of course, you can't just whip down while walking down the stairs. You know, what made, what made me have that thought? And yeah, you need to duck there so you can get past those spikes. And here is where you need a sub-weapon. Now as soon as you start swinging, start pulling back so that you don't fly too far. And even if you kill that guy, I do believe he's gonna respawn, so... Yes! Okay, there's another way to deal with him. It's gonna be hard, so I'm gonna be using save states. And that is to jump off before he can make it too far, kneel down, and just wail on him. So, yeah, you know, this wouldn't be the clock tower without gears, would it? Nope. Oop! Sorry for that. Um, 
And we have lag. So it's gonna be over in just you. There we go. Yep, sorry, but I need to use save states in the stage. It's like one of the only stages where I need to use like excessive save stating. Right here. The gear is gonna start bouncing down, so be mindful about where these guys are coming from. So you don't have to take unnecessary damage. Nothing I really would recommend. You know, if you want my two cents on the whole thing. Um gonna stand down here, whip on that guy. Now here it can be a bit tricky to deal with this, uh, with that white dragon due to these. Go a bit up and down so you can avoid the uh, frick. There we go. Yep, there's gonna be a lot of save stating and save loading in this stage. But you know, this isn't a perfect run, and those of you who can play this game without taking damage, without taking any deaths, a lot of respect for you. And I thought I could dodge that. Apparently not. Oh my god, this level doesn't like me. I thought I was a pretty likable guy. I've heard that I am, so, yeah. Immediately go back down so you don't do something stupid. Now if you're standing over here, that rusty gear there is not gonna be of any trouble for you. Grab that, save setting here. There's gonna be a lot of whip swing, so... Hopefully, you have gotten the whip swing down. And, you know, gotten down and, hey, you know, you can whip in all eight directions. Use that to your advantage. And, yeah. If you're gonna take a hit, make sure that there's a platform that you can fall onto. I don't like making close calls. Um. <laughs> okay. There we go. Alright. Save saving. Taking an axe to the face. Like, if there's something you want to take with you in your life from this LP, and that that is, do not get hit in, in the face with axes. You know, it, it's not a beauty treatment. Um, <laughs> why am I even talking about taking axes to the face? Um, right here. Jerk enemy placement. Make sure you have the cross if you want to use sub weapons. If you only want to use the whip, wait for an opportunity and then land as many whip hits as you can possibly get without um, grabbing onto the uh, whip swing points. And here is our stop. So. You know, it wouldn't be Castlevania without a long hallway bridge thing with a bunch of skeletons. And, well, it's boss time. So, who are we fighting if not death here? Well, how about Akmodan the Second, also known as the Mummy. Um, this Mummy Man is not as annoying as the one in the original. But he's gonna teleport around the room, you know. Have the boomerang due to the rebound hit factor. And don't die. <laughs> but luckily they put us out here, so 
But unluckily for me, I don't think it's gonna give me another um, uh, cross. So nope. Did I really do that? Did I just really walk off the edge? <laughs> Simon's like, nope, I'm done. <laughs> Get someone else to kill Dracula. <laughs> oh my god. <sighs> Alright. We're gonna be safe sitting, and the boss is gonna plop out here, so. That's a new move. It's gonna whip, whip spin. Hopefully dealing with the him and his projectiles. Okay, I thought you were gonna be a lot simpler to deal with, but apparently you wanna be a jerk, so... Whatever, I will smack you in the face with a whip. You heard me. It works. <laughs> Makes sense. I mean, come on, you're swinging the whip. It's not a swing and a miss. It's a swing and a whip. And back down here for some more whip swinging. I wish I had the MG circle from Harmony of Dissonance. I swear, that would have been a lot easier. And I, I sort of mess up. Okay, I messed up my timing and he's gonna get a lot of hits on me now. Bloody knew it. But I'm not gonna stand in his way when he decides to do this, so. Here we go, Akmode on the second is defeated! <laughs> Thus, we end stage 10 with a lot of fails. So, where are we going next? Well,. Some more smooth jazz vampire killer. This is the final stage, but I'll be splitting it into two videos, considering that this place has two boss battles. So yeah, we're gonna deal with some more vampire killer in the next episode. And yeah, we have a lot of time to do that, so this is going to be fun. So, um, today's question. I want to know, which is your favorite incarnation of the uh, mummy? For me, it's probably this one, actually. Well, leave your answer in the comments below and we'll talk about it, so... With that said, thank you so much for watching, I hope you enjoyed the series so far, and I shall see you again next time. Until then, farewell.